Aloha everybody and welcome back to Doing Hawaii. I am Charles, your host, and in today's episode, we're going to show you where a lot of homes on the east side of the Big Highland get their water from. One of the things that I love about living in Hawaii is that our household water is very eco-friendly here on the east side. Now there are other places in Hawaii that get their water from a, uh, a private water company or even a county source, you know, which is, comes through, you know, wells and things of that nature. However, a lot of homes here on the east side get our water from what we call a catchment system. And basically what a catchment system is, is that uh, the, the rain falls from the sky and it falls on the roof and is collected with gutters and is then fed through downspouts into a catchment tank. And as you see here, uh, currently our downspout into the catchment tank has been disconnected and that's because uh, we were having some roof work done and we, did, we didn't want any debris or, or little metal shards or anything like that to uh, end up in the catchment. And actually this, what you're looking at right here, is a concrete catchment tank. They don't normally do them this way anymore. This is an older style. Most uh, catchment tanks are now either uh, plastic um, containers or a... Uh, a steel container uh, of some kind. So what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, take you over to the uh, actual access area of the catchment and show you inside. Okay, what we're looking at here is the inside of the concrete catchment it is uh, lined with a plastic food grade liner um, membrane in order to uh, keep the water from seeping out any cracks in the concrete. Normally the catchment or the uh, downspout comes in there and we also have a, another one over here because uh, we collect off multiple areas of the roof and as you can see the catchment is full. However, it is looking a little uh, dirty there on the bottom. It's about time that it gets vacuumed out again. I'll have to keep it clean um, in order to keep the water fresh and safe. And if you look over here, you can see here are the intake pipes. This is where the water is pulled out of the catchment system by the pump itself. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's almost like a giant swimming pool. And to treat the water, what I normally do is we have to pH balance it. And we have to also uh, chlorinate it. Now, I know a lot of people don't like the idea of chlorine. And uh, I guess that is a matter of personal preference. But uh, what we have to do with chlorine is, is keep it at about one parts per million, uh, which is a sanitary, you know, um, is to help keep it sanitary, kill off, you know, mostly the uh, rat lung worm, which maybe we'll talk about later. But now we're going to move over to the actual uh, mechanics, the pump and filtration systems. So first, the pump actually sucks the water out of the catchment through the pipes I showed you inside, and they come down here. And in this particular case, they go actually go underneath the concrete, reemerges from the concrete here, which you see the, the red valve, that is the shutoff. Uh, so if we have to do any work on the system, we shut that valve off in order to keep the catchment tank from gravity uh, siphoning out. So the water moves from that pipe is then pulled in to the pump. This pump is a 110 volt uh, a water pump very simple uh, energy efficient that is then pumped through the pump and goes into here where it is then put into a pressurizing tank in order to give us water pressure and then of course the pressure pushes it up through this pipe into the first filter system this is a sediment filter it is a five micron sediment filter it then moves over into another five micron uh, charcoal filter. Now this charcoal filter removes odors and things of that nature. It also helps remove any residual chlorine uh, in the water system from treatment. Now from there it then moves into uh, this pipe here which comes down into this device here. And what this device is, this is a UV sanitizer. And its purpose is to simply um, disrupt and destroy the DNA of microorganisms, uh, bacteria, viruses, you know, things of that nature, making them basically inert so that uh, they are no longer harmful if ingested. And then from there, 
it moves through this pipe here, comes down, and moves into the household water system. This pipe main is the one that feeds the, the main house, and it's got a little T extension here off, which actually goes into the laundry room. Uh, so this is the cold water for the laundry, and this is the hot water from the laundry. And you can see it comes up from the house too. And we have a hot water spigot out here, uh, which was here when the house was purchased. So that's the basic water system and, and how we uh, basically collect it, how we pump it, and, and how we purify it. So this system with the sediment pulls out dirt and, and any uh, particulate matter. The charcoal handles uh, chemicals and, and odors. The UV acts as a biological with the chlorination system. And then in the house, we actually go through a two micron uh, water filter at the sink and at the refrigerator level uh, just to, to give an extra uh, level of safety. So by the time the water gets into the house, it is fresh, clean, clear, and refreshing. And all this comes from, well, of course, the sky. So our entire water system here would be technically eco-friendly. Granted, there's some issues with the filters and, and the bulbs and stuff, which aren't very eco-friendly, but the actual source is renewable at this point. Now, before I end this video, I want to share with you all another part of the uh, water system. Uh, we also um, try to be a little bit more environmental, environmentally friendly and, uh, of course, save some money on electrical power. Uh, so a lot of homes in Hawaii have alternate uh, hot water systems. Um, in my particular case, I have an electric slash solar hot water system. Other people have a uh, gas powered um, hot water tank and others have hot water on demand systems, which is also powered by gas. Now, in my particular case, like I said, I have the electric solar hybrid. And the way this basically works is there are panels uh, up on the roof, uh, solar water panels. They're basically a metal box uh, with a um, gill system, almost kind of like a radiator. But instead of them being lined up, um, uh, you know, in rows, they're, they're laid out flat so the, the gills are facing the sun. And it's got tubes that run from the top to the bottom. And you can see, of course, what they look like right up here. Um, so moving on, basically the way the system works is when there is no uh, sun or very little sun and we don't get heated, then we, we flip this switch on right here, which is also a timer box. And uh, it takes about 15, 20 minutes for the water to heat up and, and then we shut it off and we're pretty much good for the day. Um, however, when there is sun, uh, what happens then is that this little system right down here, uh, which as you can see right here, this is a pump and it's connected to a thermostat which runs up to the uh, solar panels on the roof. And this pipe right here uh, goes to the pump. The pump then pushes the water up to the roof and then it comes back out right here, or excuse me, comes back down from the roof and goes back down to the hot water tank. So basically, when the thermostat senses that the water in the panels has reached a certain temperature, the pump kicks on and it circulates the water from the hot water tank. So it's not cold water, and this is the cold water uh, coming into the tank system. So it's not cold water necessarily going to the tank or going to the panels. The cold water goes in the tank, mixes with any warm water that's already there, and it's the water actually in the tank that circulates through the panels because it's easier and, and uh, more efficient to heat warm water to, to hot water versus cold water to hot water. So, and the timer box, what that's basically used for is I have it set that at a certain time every day, it will shut the power off to the hot water tank just in case um, it was a rainy day, it got turned on and someone forgot to turn it off, whether that be me or, or Scott uh, or any other guests that may be in the house, etc. So, okay, everybody, that pretty much does it. Um, this is how we get our water and our hot water uh, in Hawaii, at least on the east side majority. And uh, as usual, you have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening. <laughs>